Hi, um, so in this video I wanted to talk about the PFH International Senior Student Award for which gratefully I am one of the recipients this year for the year 2023. Uh, as for myself, my name is Hussain Lee John and I am currently pursuing my internship at Sharad Pawar Dental College and Hospital which is situated in a small village called Shavangi uh, near the city of Varda in the state of Maharashtra. So if you're watching this video, you're probably here for two things. Um, uh, to know what the PFA Academy actually is and how you can get this award and I hope that the people that are watching this video eventually get the award in the future <laughs> So uh, the PFA or the PFA Oshad Academy named after of course the father of dentistry as we know uh, PFA Oshad, right? So this uh, organization is first created in his name and uh, it does a lot of things so to not complicate this video and keep everything everything to the point, uh, it's mean it's one of the focus. Uh, one of its focus is to create a hall of fame of the best dentists, practitioners, and teachers. Okay. So in India, there are around two hundred and fifty to three hundred dental colleges, and this PFA uh, organization has chapters in many countries. Uh, by chapters, I mean branches, right? So the PFA India chapter. Uh, sends a mail, uh, sends an email, giving a notification to all these two, uh, 250 to 300 dental colleges. They mail it to the dean. So they ask the dean to nominate one student from the dental, uh, from the college. And this student is usually from the intern batch because from uh, first year to final year, you've done a certain amount of things uh, uh, to build up your CV. <coughs> so every year, 15 students get this award out of like 250, 300, how many uh, students are nominated actually. So, your dean nominates you. Now, the PF Oshad gives a certain criteria like how to build your CV or like how to prepare your CV. Uh, the things in that are your academics, uh, sports, your cultural activities, and your research, the publications, copyright, that sort of stuff. And not just that, you need stuff like I had interviewed uh, uh, Dr. Sandesh Maikar, sir, I had interviewed a bunch of other people, I had created uh, some amount of communities, I had done certain amount of stuff. So I could add that in my CV. You can add everything in your CV that is pertaining to dentistry and certain amount of marketing stuff pertaining to or correlating to dentistry. <coughs> so how you can actually get this award is uh, don't think about this award from first year itself because that's not that's a really stupid thing to do. I believe uh, you should focus on your academics and clinics more than anything else. But getting is getting this award is a good boost. Mm, I would say that. So from my first year, uh, I'll tell something about my personal experience, which might help preparing your CV and actually getting nominated for this award, let's say. <clears throat> I was uh, always into almost everything except sports. My sports were mm, not that great, let's just say that. But my academics were good, not the best. I wasn't the best student. I have never taught my university exams, but I was almost usually in the top five, top tens. That was not my aim but I got that uh, cultural activities now all these small events the poster making competitions the slogan making competitions almost every thing video making competitions those sort of things that I could complete in like half an hour one hour I was good at uh, prep I had a history I have a history of uh, preparing uh, good images like I'm into graphic design personally so I could prepare that in half a half an hour or one hour so I just prepared that and I would send that for the competitions and at least I could get a participation certificate if not the first or second prize. I have gotten that too but I used to participate in a lot of things and I was very active in these dental conferences that used to happen. Almost every year I have participated in like one or two dental conferences because I used to get to roam that city and meet new people. I love meeting new people. That's my G. <coughs> That's my shit. Um, so that's how my CV was prepared eventually and publications now my college really pushes you to publish stuff and uh, I'm proud to say that I'm the most published uh, student in my college so I have around seven publications right now two are in still in process hopefully they will get published soon and in internship I got into copyright so now I have three copyrights two are still pending this is not to boast and everything but this you can also do this doing all this stuff seems complicated but it's damn easy when you get the once you get the hang of it okay 
so getting the nomination letter is the first part from the dean uh, so you have to be not popular in college but the staff needs to know that you have potential to do something and represent the college at that stage so once over the course of the year uh, over the course of the four years you have made a name for yourself in these sort of uh, four categories then let's assume that you are nominated now <clears throat> once the dean receives the notification from the pf academy so in my case it was around four to five months ago what happened in my college was uh, they prepared it was uh, a thing like anyone could give their nomination and eventually uh, dean chair was selected uh, so four people gave their names and eventually they gave their cv so uh, between those uh, four people i was selected because uh, probably i had more credentials than them uh, not that i am a better student than them but i had probably done more stuff than they actually did that's what i think is was the case um so after that i had to prepare three things uh, basically the pf academy asks for these three things in pdf format number one is your uh, demographic details which is titled as biodata so you have to send all these three things through the mail of your dean um in pdf format one is the nomination letter which uh, you will provide by the college if you are selected from your college the other thing is the bio data your basically uh, basically your demographic details your address name phone number email that sort of stuff the third is your uh, passport size photo again in pdf format you scan it and send it now the most important thing is the cv obviously you going to be selected on the basis of this so you need to prepare it accordingly so there is a sort of format uh, thankfully uh, my seniors also have gotten this award for uh, uh, my college we are getting this award for the past 2 3 years so i had a lot of guidance in preparing my cv so i had a lot of help thank you seniors so when i was preparing the cv uh, my academics were not that great they were okay so i put that first then sports sports were like okay i haven't done much okay so let's put whatever we have we have a few certificates in this we have a certificate in uh, running a few marathons so i put that then came the cultural stuff like i said i was very much active in everything that uh, the college uh, threw at us every competition i participated in it because probably i wanted to prove myself when i got into this college that maybe my need score isn't that great and chalo koshish karke dekhte hai ki Let's participate in everything. I haven't done. Maybe I haven't sang, but eventually I did participate in a few competitions. So eventually, uh, my certificates kept building up. Uh, I did blood donation, and I had a knack for organ donation as well. So I uh, started an organ donation thing at my college, and twenty five students were registered as organ donors. I personally do have an organ donor card, which is registered by the Indian government, but we're side tracking right now. Okay. So that was the cultural stuff, the poster making, which we have discussed everything. Conferences, yep, and research. Research. Uh, I'm re- really grateful for my college for every research that I could complete. Original researches, reviews, case reports, everything of that sort. Now comes the stuff that is gonna like separate you from the crowd. The extra stuff that you do over the years that piques your interest. You no, know, I really wanted to talk about this. I'm sorry if this video is a bit longer, but I really really like talking about other stuff too. And you need to put everything in your CV, right? Like if you're an IDA member, if you're an IADS member, or you're a member of any organization, that every minute thing you've done in college, write that. Because the I don't think the bigger the CV counts, but the richer the CV counts. That's what I would say. Okay, copyrights like. in the internship when i started uh, doing copyrights no one was doing copyrights because probably i wanted to stand out in my college of course you get appreciation from your juniors but there is something for so there's something that you do for yourself right <laughs> and i did that and it took it took 6 to 7 months for those copyrights to eventually get registered you know how the stuff is with the uh, indian websites it takes a lot of time and uh, i'm sorry my battery was a bit low so the thing was 
in in the initial stages i didn't know how all this worked and i had to take help from people i had to learn something from my own watch videos but everything did work out and eventually when i eventually got the email that i had gotten the shot it wasn't something like oh my god i have gotten this award i was like it's good i have gotten this award because this award does mean a lot of course nothing to take away from this award or the academy there are a lot of many things to do in life as well so just don't focus on this award it's great if you get it it's also great if you don't but keep doing it keep um doing the stuff that you want to academic sports cultural whatever now we're competing with the academics and that's what i said <laughs> so i got this email uh so when i sent the email from the dean's email id uh one or two months later i got the email ki uh, you have gotten this award and you're invited to this university in uh, a certain month of this year which i am invited in december in a certain university and you'll be presented with your award there now the thing that I, thing that i get to know is like all these 15 students that are nominated not nominated they have gotten the award the pf oshad international senior student award they're going to get the award but in between these uh, 15 students one is going to get a grand jury award let's see how that rolls out but i'm just happy to have gotten this award and that's basically it that's what you have to do to get this award and if anyone is watching this and wants to see my cv you just have to my email id is probably in the about page of this youtube channel somewhere and just mail me and i'll send you my cv that's it and uh, of course keep doing that those special stuff like like i said i had the way dr sandesh my teacher i had created a few communities in for my uh, state for my city and conduct the church competitions in my college basically it simple stuff like every student can do if he has a bit of interest and has the balls to actually approach the authorities in his college and the will to actually get it done that's basically it you can do it sab kar sakte hai bas chaah chahiye that's i think a good note to end it on i'll end it right there so best of luck for everything and uh, yep that's the video <laughs>